This video was supposed to have an intro, but I'm passionately late as always. So that was a stressful morning. Now I'm inside and I'm gonna do my lifts. I'm gonna do some Botox and then something called Plexer, I think. With the Plexer, I will remove some beauty spots that have bothered me for years. So the big one on my chin and the devil itself on top of my upper lip. This piece of beep makes all lipids I put on uneven. So today you'll die. Bye! I've cleansed my skin from makeup and we're putting on some anesthesia cream and this will sit for 20 minutes. This is me, I'm so royal and you all wanna be round. Yeah, you all wanna be round. Brown a champion, a champion. I got tons of soul on my true collective ball. Famous, also famous, number one desirable. I do what I want when I want and how I want it. Now I know some will say that I don't need it and I don't and that's why I'm doing it. To prevent the wrinkles from showing up, it's a lot easier to prevent wrinkles from appearing than to try to fix them when the damage is done. Next up is lippy time. The Botox doesn't hurt that much, but this one, <laughs> this one's a bitch. It hurts. Botox I have done once before, but lip fillers I think I've done it 6 or 7 times. I like my lips a little bit fuller. It makes it a lot more fun for me to wear lipsticks, but that's just me. A few years ago when I started, you couldn't even see my upper lip in front face shots. It was pointing downwards, so what I've basically done is lifting it up. And I can't stress this enough, I'm doing this for me. Don't ever change anything about yourself for someone else. Everything you do, you do for you. Also remember that you should be over 18 and go to a clinic that you can trust. I do all of my beauty treatments at the same clinic. And as you may or may not know, I also do fractional laser at this clinic and it keeps my pores airbrushed away. I will put a link in the description if you're interested in any of these treatments and wanna go where I go. My lips will be really swollen when we finish, but they will go down tomorrow, hopefully. <laughs> Plexer is totally new to me. I was so excited when I heard about it because I've hated these beauty spots for so long. Since they're kind of sticking out, they show through the makeup even if the color is covered. I don't care about my other beauty spots that are not sticking out, but these, <laughs> they gotta go. Smells like fireworks. The Plexer burns away the skin as you can see. I don't know how to explain the feeling. It feels strange, it hurts a little bit, but not as much as I thought. The lips still hurt worse. Can you feel with your finger that it's much more depressed now than it was before? Is it elevated? It's, it's like flat. Here? It's so scary. It's scary. It's and flat. here? And here also or not? Yeah, it feels flat. Take a little bit of more here. So we're gonna go back to the salon because my sister's gonna do her lips too. Mine are still kind of swollen. I have to wear this cream where I did the flexor and I removed beauty spots. They weren't so beautiful. But I need it to heal so I can put makeup on my face on New Year's. <laughs> I have a tiny bit of bruising, a little bit here, a little bit here. I don't even think you can see it. I have uh, makeup on my skin, so it's just a little bit. Also, I tried thicker eyebrows today. I think it's working. So it's time for my sister. Her lips are kind of like the before picture of my lips. I think she's done it twice, but mine were like this, but a bit thinner. So I'm just gonna throw in some close-ups so you can see the needle going in and some blood. I know you like it. <sighs> and now my wear is phase nine. I need to go inside the spoon, which is a like fabric store. Um, and I need to get like a glittery fabric for vlogging background, I think. I love these crushed velvet fabrics. They are so good at catching the light and uh, they're also very cheap. I found a lot of fabric. Finally home and I got all my fabric. This is kind of a, I don't know what this color is called, but it's shiny and it's a turquoise glitter. Ooh, ooh. Mm, and this one is kind of like champagne, you can see here next to the white one. I got the silver gray, light blue, and uh, it's a uh, pink-ish. Very nice. Now I'm just gonna hang them up. 
This is my vlog space. I already have this fabric from before, so I'm just gonna hang all of the fabrics on top of each other and use pins to make them stay in place. I pin every single one of them down like this, Oop, underneath. So then I can just flip and flip and flip. It is New Year's Eve and this is what my face looks like. My lips are still a little bit swollen, but that's okay. I removed some beauty spots with Plexer and it has healed enough to put makeup on. <sighs> Let's do this. Them legs need to be shaved and silky smooth. Mm -mm -mm. Moisturize. Uh, I'm prepping my hair with some dry shampoo and since I'm going to wear a lot of glitter accessories I am going with a simple look so it's gonna be dark eyes and nude lips Also, I'm very pressed for time and super late and we're back at having skin white as snow Squeezing some water into my beauty blender and just dabbing more painless onto my skin Don't forget your ears. It's a freaking mistake showing up with a yellow face and red ears Trying to bring face shapes back into my face with some contouring some might think I'm putting on a lot of makeup, but since I am headed for the club later, cake face won't be a problem. And this cake face is all baked and ready to go. My skin looks flawless. Since I baked myself back to pale again, we need to go in with some bronzer. So I'm just bronzing away, bringing back life. And that double chin too. Yes, thank y'all. This is my favorite blush palette from NYX. Can't go without blush. And this strobe of genius highlighter palette. As I said, it's glow lighting and I need my cheekbones to be striking a F. Threw on a lip lingerie matte lipstick and a pair of deaf lashes and a lot of mascara. I think my makeup ended up looking great and it's time to tame my hair. It's prepped with dry shampoo and the plan is to go with some nice waves. First layer down of my hair and curl, curl, curl. This part is crucial for the end result and cannot be rushed. Tease and spray before you put the next layer down. It is preferable to comb your hair before you put it up because then it's easier to find the right layer. My hair is tangled. Yes. Curling, teasing, spraying so fast because I'm so late and about to jump into my New Year's dress. Lucky me, I had my sister to help cut up some tags I forgot about and help me put my necklace on. My hair is shit and needs to be combed out to get nice and wavy. I want my hair to look sleek, so I comb it with a thick head brush. I am also leaving some curls curlier than I want them to, because I know they will go down during the night and look perfect for the party. I am really happy with my look. I was wearing epic glitter stilettos that I forgot to film when I rushed off. I hope you had an amazing New Year's Eve. I will not forget about mine. Better late than never. Happy New Year. Been put on the grass, open skies I can feel it every time I close my eyes My eyes